Now, long last, MGM has opened its force to give you an opportunity to own these and many other great archive films meticulously transferred to high-grade videotape. The picture quality has been completely restored and enhanced by modern technological advances to give you clean, clear images. And in many cases, the original soundtracks have been digitally re-recorded in videophonic sound. Judy Garland, see, she never sounded better. We will dance for hoochie coochie. You will be my tootsie whoopsie if you will meet me in St. Louis. Now you can watch MGM's greatest movies on video in the comfort of your own home, whenever you want, and as often as you like. There are over 100 titles to choose from in five different... Seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then, but I can't remember where. going to write a show for us. Because babes in Judy and Mickey sing and dance together for the first time in Rogers and Hart's Babes in Arms. Directed by Busby Berkeley, this film was so successful that it started them off on a series of five more Let's Put On a Show musicals. ever tell you that you've got a face like a two-week vacation with pay? Did anyone ever tell you that you've got a nose cute enough to write a song about? Mm. Got rhythm. Got rhythm. Mickey Rooney, Judy Garland, Gershwin Music, and the Tommy Dorsey Band. Girl Crazy from Ziegfeld's 1930 Broadway hit. It was one of MGM's most buoyant song fests. Who could ask for anything more? Yeah, I couldn't. Everyone in the world who went to see an MGM musical came out singing, tapping, or humming. With the addition of Technicolor, the name MGM and the word musical became synonymous. Led by genius producer Arthur Freed, MGM assembled a galaxy of talent that has never been equaled in the history of music on film. Directors Vincent Minnelli and Busby Berkeley, songwriters Rogers and Hart, Lerner and Lowe, Comden and Green, and Stein. The Gershwins, Cole Porter, and legendary performers Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, Sid Reese, Jane Powell, Bing Crosby, Mickey Rooney, Debbie Reynolds, Donald O'Connor, Frank Sinatra, Judy Garland. <laughs> MGM musicals became the world's stairway to... In St. Louis, Louis, meet me at the fair. Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Meet Me in St. Louis is a charming family album of turn-of-the-century St. Louis starring Judy Garland at 21 and Margaret O'Brien at 6. With songs, The Boy Next Door and Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I were in love again, no more care, no despair, I'm all there now, don't do Victoria. See to see why Over the Rainbow became Judy Garland's theme song? And why The Wizard of Oz has become the most popular picture ever made for children of all ages. And why not? The Wizard of Oz has the characters that everyone loves. Ray Bolger as the Scarecrow, Bert Lahr as the Cowardly Lion, Jack Haley as the Tin Man, Frank Morgan as the Wizard. And the witch everyone loves to hate, Margaret Hamilton. And their enchanting journey down the yellow brick road to Emerald City only to find that there is no place like home for watching the original Wizard of Oz on video. 
It's part of MGM's Video for Kids collection, which also includes these all-time. Thanks for allowing me to spend this time with you. I really enjoyed watching these clips. It was a pleasure to guide you through the MGM Video Sampler. Happy watching in the years ahead. That's home entertainment. I'm not an 